Welcome out to the garden, guys. I feel like lately I've just been bringing you a lot of disappointing feelings. And I am told myself after the last video, I'm gonna be positive and I'm just gonna get happy. <laughs> but guys, I just bring you how I'm feeling and here's my onions behind me. And I would say 60% are dead, 60%. Maybe more. <laughs> Let me grab a couple and show you. Just rotten. Absolutely rotten. So, not 100% positive, exactly. Um, if you guys remember when I got them in the mail, a lot of them were moldy, really slimy. I thought I could clean them up just by cleaning out the outer leaves. So, not sure if that was the problem. Never had that problem ever before from Dixondale. And I didn't call customer service and ask for a refund or anything like that. I just probably should have, I guess. So, um, but maybe it's my fault too. So I planted them out here. And guys, I honestly, I think we had rain the next day and I did not water them that whole first week. So, could have been my fault. Todd took care of them really well when I went on my trip, uh, but even before that, they had started dying off. So sad. I don't, I almost wanna rake out this entire onion crop and just give me my space bag. But some of them look really nice, so I think I'm gonna leave the ones that look good. And what I did this morning was, I went to our local nursery and I just bought their onions. Um, I've never grown onions from um, like starts that are started in dirt. So it's gonna be like transplanting like a plug with dirt on it. And they are way, way smaller than what I'm used to planting. So I think it's gonna be a really good comparison to do with you guys. Like if, and teach me, like if I'm started, gonna try to start onions from seed next year, um, will I, uh, be able to get as big of an onion as growing them from Dixondale starts, which come much, much larger than what typically you would have if you started from seed early enough or um, get bought from your local nursery. So let me um, take you over, let you know what I found. Of course, not my preferred varieties, but we're gonna make do with what we have. Um, and I'm gonna dedicate two of my raised beds to nothing but onions. It's a staple crop for us. It's something that um, I thoroughly enjoy growing. They store well for us. So, um, yeah, bummer, huh? Just a bummer. So this is the first flat that I bought. I counted them, I'm guessing there's close to 200 to 250 or so onions and when I did my math I can fit about 280 in a, my 4x8 raised bed. So what they had available was candy onions and just they called it a red onion. So we're gonna do red onions and candy onions and I'm gonna space them nine inches apart you could definitely squeeze them to 16 inches apart if you're not looking for a large slicing onion, more like a sweet or small onion or green onions, but we're gonna do nine, space them nine inches apart. I'm just making marks so I know where to transplant them. So this will be interesting. Totally my first time doing this. Itty bitty bitty compared to starts that I would get. I'm not quite sure how they're gonna break apart. So we'll see what we can get accomplished if I can bust this out real quick. Oh yeah, they come apart nice. Okay, nice. 
Yeah, they pretty much just fall right out. And then I'm just digging a hole big enough so that the roots can nicely go in. Uh, you can tell that uh, the greenhouse trimmed the, the tops probably two inches. Um, I will come back and do that again after they're um, established. Probably about eight weeks or so. And I'll trim them once more. I guess that a lot of you might be growing onions for the first time this year and may not know that you do want to trim the tops. Even professional greenhouses do that before you transplant them out. I've heard four inches, but it looks like they take it, take them way down. Now, I did not have time to amend these beds in any sort of way um, outside of what I did at the beginning of the season. I came in, sprinkled them with some azomite bone meal just to put some more uh, minerals back in it and then top dressed it with barn clean out. All right. Just sprinkling this soil around it may have some good fertilizer in it that the nursery used okay on to the next batch so that was oops there's one extra one two three four five that was nine ten in a cell so This will be fun if it if it works. Totally fun. Okay. I mean, I know it's gonna work. <laughs> that's not a question. I just don't know if I'm gonna get big onions. I guess that's my only observation. I have never grown them from this tiny of starts before. The roots look great though. So it looks promising. It's kind of fun having these cells that the onions came in because I told you guys how I've been keeping all of my trays for the last several years and I don't have anything quite like this. So next year I can start my own onions, maybe. Yeah. Cool, how's it going? Good, they're so tiny. So these are onions? Yeah. Look oh my. Bitty, bitty, bitty. It's like they grew them from seed, huh? Well, well yeah. I mean, obviously <laughs> all onions come from seed, but. Yeah. I'm used to seeing the ones that you call yeah. are already like teenagers. Yeah. So I think uh, I think it's going to work. I think, you know, maybe instead of uh, being able to harvest in July, we're harvesting September or something. I'm not quite sure. sure. So we'll see how it goes. Rocks in there. 
what was this bed going to be? Onions? Well, no. My garden plan has completely <laughs> changed, as always. Sounds normal. Yeah. You spend hours and hours and hours and hours planning. designing it and planning yeah. it. And this is the garden and we film a video about it. And then <laughs> <laughs> so because in my original garden plan, that green bean trellis over the chairs wasn't there. So the green bean trellis was going to be here and oh. peppers and spinach. But I ended up planting all my spinach in the corners. And <laughs> I think that bed is going to be peppers on both ends. And then we'll probably put peppers in the onion beds where all the onions died. Oh, cool. I'm excited about this one. Which one? The one right the beets? behind me. <laughs> oh, yes. An entire bed full of beets. Yeah, I planted that whole bed of beets yesterday. So we'll see how it goes. We've been eating a lot of beets lately. We'll go through like a whole quart jar, like a, a week. week. Yeah. It's like our side dish. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times we'll make Throw a couple hamburger patties on the grill, slap it on a plate with no bun, and have some beets. And that's dinner for us. Yeah, that's probably a go-to meal. There's so many sunflower seeds in my barn clean out because <laughs> I pulled no less than 10 or 12 sunflowers out of the bed behind me because I feed the goats sunflowers. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it goes right through them. Yeah, they must not digest them very well. So, or they're so like, kind of like Mika when you give her a bone and she just swallows it. She's oh, so excited yeah. about it. They don't she get ate them. that big ham bone the other day was like this big. Yeah. Swallowed it. Jeez. So the new, the tent thing, you want it like that, like without plastic. Yeah, right? exactly. We can take the plastic off of this one because if you guys hang in with me till the end, if I have the energy, I'm not going to promise I will, but if I do, I brought out all the brassicas to get planted in my greenhouse towers too. I think I bought way too many onions. <laughs> <laughs> I bought... I mean, it was hard to count them like in the cells like they were. And I thought I counted about 250 per tray. And uh, yeah, there's way more. <laughs> so. Thanks. No peeking at the fence project behind us. It's not done yet either, but it's coming along. We were poised and ready to kind of come out even before lunch today and just get cranking on this thing. And it was so cold this yeah, morning. Yeah, so cold. Like wind chill temp 37. <laughs> like, yeah, the sun's supposed to come out this afternoon, so. So what did he say when I, uh, I made an excuse then. I was like, okay, it's too cold. I'm going to go to the greenhouse then and get some onion replacements. All like, she said was onions. I'm going to go get some onions. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me, knows me. I walked in the door, didn't have a thing in my hands. He's like, so I made a bet while you were gone. I was like, oh yeah, what's that? He said, I bet that you came back with a truck full. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but I did buy more than onions. Flowers. Every year I buy a few more perennial flowers just to add to the property. Sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't, so. I haven't peeked. No. <laughs> no. Well, I'll see if I can get this plastic off of this one. Okay. It's probably tied on, so I think yeah, I need to is. get my screw gun and undo the screw so we can lift the whole thing and untie it maybe. No, no, no. I only tied the front end right here. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. that's it. All right. Did you tie it? Yeah. A knot right there? I did not tie in knots. Maybe I did. I think she lied. They're all tied in knots. <laughs> hey. 
now that I volunteered to do it, I'm stuck with it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gotta say, I don't even like this kind of food anyway. <laughs> Cabbage. I don't even like cabbage. Well, I ended up not overbuying after all. I have two square feet and one uh, row and another square feet of space that I don't have onions. So I guess kind of what I'm thinking is I'm gonna plant out the red onions, see if I have any extra to fill those spaces. If not, I may transplant some of these onions from the front bed that are doing well um, back here to fill these beds in. Or I'll just leave it for a space for some pretty flowers or something else. Maybe a, maybe a pumpkin can uh, go in that little corner and then vine out in the pathways. So hmm, to be determined what I do with that. Uh, but I do need to wrap up this video, at least pause for now. Todd needs help with starting or wrapping up my fence. Uh, this is turning into quite the project. So um, if I don't talk to you guys, uh, again today, have a great afternoon and happy gardening where you are, but if I do catch back up with you, it'll certainly be here in the garden. There's tons to get done. Uh, like I said, planting out my brassicas, um, the rest of the onions, and I really want to catch you guys up with how the peas are coming, the spinach, and all the other fun things that are growing. So thanks guys for coming along in the garden today, and I'll talk to you later.